Stein, and this is The Facts, and I'm here today with Rachel Evans and Andrew Bolotowski, and we're, uh, this episode of The Facts is about raising money. piece is called Swimming in the Ocean, and I, I grew up on the ocean, and I, I grew more and more frightened of it as I grew older <laughs> instead of less. Um, so anyway, I've been, asking, I've been asking people for money to support this show, and asking individuals as well as organizations, you know, that are organ like foundations who devote themselves to, you know, giving out money, but they also devote themselves, most of them, to maintaining the current system, to, to, to supporting the current inequities. And uh, so, yeah, it goes through my mind, why would you want to shine lights on, 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 on what it's like to live in the system, which is what I'm trying to do, uh, being on this planet, uh, you know, in terms of, on the level of all human beings, not just some human beings. And, um, uh, I'm so American. I don't care. 
For a second, I want to jump back for a second into my into my asking for money, and and I'm talk, I, so I'm worried about how resonant is my, how many places on your palate does it hit my argument for for funding, or does it sort of flatline? You know, um, a musical pitch, for instance, is always resonant. It has a lot of different parts to it, and here's a musician's story. Uh, uh, so and so saw a musician he hadn't seen for a while, and he says, "What have you been doing?" And the musician says, "Well, I've been listening to B below middle C." something from Montaigne. I'm in the Montaigne uh, kind of mood. And this is about judgment. Montaigne is a, is a essayist lived in the 1500s and um, in a time of civil wars and the plague and great authoritarianism, lots of authoritarianism. So here's a little thing he wrote about judgment. Judgment holds in me a presidential seat. At least it carefully endeavors to hold it. It suffers my appetites to keep their course, both hatred and love, yea, and that I bear unto myself without suffering or uh, alteration or corruption. If it cannot reform other parts according to itself, judgment that is, at least it will not be deformed by them. It keeps its court apart. For some degree of intelligence is required to be able to mark that one is ignorant. Mm -hmm. 
and we must knock at a gate to know whether it be shut. Affirmation and self-conceit are manifest signs of foolishness. So why are some things supported? <clears throat> oh, I feel so unsupported. Why are things supported? You know, is it is how arbitrary, uh, bottom of the line, jungle, bottom of the line is it? You know, because there are, you know, there are there is a complexity of drives and needs, and you know, endless resolutions and. In the, in the 
in the private, you know, world, I, private child world, you know, like everybody that I lived in, you know, and you, you toss around the threats that you get, you toss around the, 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 your ambitions, your needs and everything in this private, and it circles around in your, in your not incomplete, in your incomplete brain, you know, and you figure out strategies, how it's the best path, the safest path to mass class, and, and then the longer term threats, um, you, you don't, you, I, at least I didn't really, I didn't solve them, they just, you know, moved along in foggier ways. Uh, I didn't have the whatever to handle them. Alone in my brain. Need interaction. professional told me that um, she doesn't have time to check on uh, individual specific companies that she suggests people buy stock in uh, that she's but the trends are very important and and professional funders don't seem to be interested in in content you know more in generalities I guess in trends Thank you. 
So is that just uh, one, one sort of a final word about raising raising money? Raising money takes a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of trial and error. My mother used to say, gradually, gradually, it used to drive me crazy. I hated when she said that, but I thought that that, you know, maybe that she was just speaking in economic reality. So let's do surreal. Let's do that. Let's, this, the, the story about the serial killers. <laughs> I told a story was when I was a student and I was a student musician and I would listen to my recordings and I would I would first I would fall in love with them. This is the, the, the metaphor for the, the, the sort of the allegory for fundraising. I fall in love with them. Oh, I know why I need the money, but why do they want to give me the money, you know? I fall in love with them, then I see where the problems are, oh they give it to me for this or for that or for this or this and the other thing. And 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 I, I eventually I would see through what I call see through the music. I would I would I would solve the problems or decide they were problems to better be put off or something else or I make a decision one way or another or that, or that, or that, or that, and I want to see through the fundraising, you know, it's ambitious ending. And I wish the same for you.
seconds 20 seconds is it 10 yet not yet is the person going to tell me is it five seconds is it what are the seconds i'm looking for the seconds they're hard to see see, see, see. 